It is impossible. Time does not allow for us today in our brief time together in this devotional for me to describe, express, explain, or unpack all that God has tucked into Isaiah 52 and 53. You see, these two chapters are a profound poetic portrayal of a suffering servant, a prophetic description of Jesus and the work that he would accomplish on the cross. And as you read these chapters today, I think we're intended to be reminded of and impacted by the deep significance of what Jesus did for us on the cross. An effort to allow time for that, for us to be reminded of how much God loves us, what Jesus did for us. Let me read a portion of Isaiah 53 to highlight the significance of Jesus' sacrifice for us. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. 